Well, if you follow the tech industry, especially on social media, on YouTube, you probably know already, but in case you don't, these have been breaking a lot. And I'm talking about 13th and 14th gen K-series, especially CPUs. Basically, what happened is Intel came out and told us that uh, what was spec and the right way manufacturers were setting their BIOSes up until a few days ago, now it's out of spec, needs changing pretty much. But they haven't released those updates yet, and it kind of makes me happy. I mean, not happy because people are having their CPUs breaking, but uh, I have been recommending you guys do undervolts and change setting your biases for probably the last four years because I thought things out of the box are complete trash. Now we have that confirmation for 13th and 14th gen Intel CPUs especially. So today I'm showing you guys how not to break your CPU. I'll prevent the degradation of your chip, of your IMC and of your cores from happening. And we're doing it in the BIOS. It's going to be a simple tutorial that's going to work for every brand of motherboard you have. Unfortunately, today we have a BIOSTAR motherboard, so the BIOS is going to be a bit strange. But I also have a dedicated undervolting tutorial for every single chip in existence. I do one tutorial for every CPU out there, uh, but this is a more broad tutorial specific for this issue. But uh, if you guys are running my undervolting settings, you are already pretty good. But maybe take a look at the power limit side, okay? So let's go ahead and tweak it. We need to go in the BIOS. To do that, you need to press the delete or F2 key on your keyboard and just go into it. It's going to be a very basic tutorial, uh, but I think it's important to do it for everybody. And also promise me one thing. You follow the tutorial to the end and it's helpful. Maybe drop a like and subscribe. And if you have any more info or suggestions, please drop it in the comments down below. Let's go. Okay, here we are in the BIOS. Now, first of all, I'm going to tell you guys how to actually find this in your system because it's not as easy since we have different vendors, but I cannot make 20 videos, one for each vendor of motherboards. So generally, it's going to be under advanced CPU configuration. And here you will simply have a power limit option pretty much. But uh, as you can see, my motherboard, that's not the case. And in many motherboards, actually, that will not be the case. So you will often find it in Tweaker, which may also be called AI Tweaker, OC Tweaker, tweaking or a variety of this or also overclocking might be now you want to go basically and find the cpu power management which again may have a different name it will depend on your motherboard but uh, again try to understand what this is basically it's the most advanced menu for your cpu you can find and then in here we have a few things to change so what we want to do is change pl1 and pl2 so we want to set this to enable if we have to enable it or in some motherboards you can just change it directly and then on pl1 we want to put 125 right there and on pl2 we want to put 188 these are the new official spec limits from intel okay so this is the first thing you need to do now at this point you want to find a setting that's called thermal velocity boosts okay so in my case it's here and you want to make sure this is disabled okay because this would basically overclock your cpu out of the box in my motherboard we don't have it so i cannot show you but if you have an i pl which means i power limit pretty much so it would be a third power limit pretty much you want to set that one to 160 watts it's the new intel specs and then if you have a current maximum which is generally called ICC max, okay? You want to set that to an absolute maximum of 249 amps, okay? This is key. And if you also have an ICC max dot up on the most advanced motherboards, you want to put that one to 200 amps, okay? Now, again, this is secondary because basically current... You know, we are putting a limit on it already because we have a watt limit, so we're not going to exceed the current either way because the voltage is pretty much fixed. A bit technical, but what I'm telling you is if you change these two and disable thermal velocity boost, you're pretty much uh, uh, safe, I want to say. But I also want to show you another thing. So if we go back to the main tweaker side, okay, you will see I have XMP enabled because I have 6000 megahertz RAM, as you probably have, okay? Now, if you do have that, that will actually change your DRAM voltage as well. Make sure it is not on auto. Um, you want it to, have to, to be like on a static voltage. On most memory kits, the maximum is gonna be 1.45 volts. So if you see like 1.5 volt on a DRAM voltage, uh, you should be warned. And uh, yeah, that can actually degrade your integrated memory controller, which is the IMC on the CPU. But I wanna keep the video short so that uh, you know, I don't want to waste you guys' time. So this is basically it. 
that's all you need to do. If, if you want to be a bit extra, I do recommend you go watch my undervolting tutorials for the specific CPU you have. I have one for each CPU. And you apply those settings and then follow the undervolt itself. And you will also gain back some performance by doing that, which is nice. If it was helpful, again, drop a like, maybe subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you guys in another video uh, very soon. Goodbye.